Hello there, I'm Alec Fenn. Welcome to the latest episode of You Ask, We Answer. If you're new to the series, it's very, very simple. You send us your questions and we put them to coaches, players, all the experts in the game, so hopefully you can improve your performance on the pitch. Today, we're helping out Markham Sparrow. He wants to know how he can accelerate his recovery after a tough 90 minutes on the pitch. To help him do that, we've teamed up with sports nutrition experts, Science and Sport, and Championship Football Club, Reading FC. Let's go inside and find out what we've got in store today. Ollie, Teddy, great to meet you both. Uh, now today we're going to be doing a recovery session, uh, which we can do the day after a match. Um, this all seems very relaxing, we're, we're sat down on the floor, but yep. I imagine it's going to be a little bit more painful. It's, the end goal is to be, for it to be relaxing. We might just have to go through a little bit of, uh, little bit of discomfort before we get there, um, but the end goal will be um, definitely worthwhile. And just how important are things like this? I know sleep is really important, yep. food obviously very yep. important, but this is going to really help us as well. Yeah, so your sleep and your nutrition are, are absolutely massive, but this is an added extra that can, those small margins that can help you accelerate your recovery that little bit more to prepare either for the next training session or the next game, depending on where we are in the week. Super, uh, let's get going. Perfect. So we're going to start off nice and simple. You're going to get your uh, foam roller, you're going to get your right glute, so you want to try and get your right leg in midline with your shin and just roll up and down, nice and simple, until you reach a particularly sore point. Once you start doing it a little bit more, it starts to get sore. Once you reach that sore point, what's called a trigger point, if you just hold it there, about 20 seconds. So what we're going to do now is just focus on the hamstrings at the back of the leg. So again, just lift off onto your hands, okay, just forwards and then back. Take your foot off the floor, so you're just putting all that weight, so all the weight should be going through yeah. this hamstring. If you find that this isn't doing it, you can use the tiger tail, so you just put it behind your leg, up and down, and you can do the insides, and roll down the outsides, again making sure you find that particularly sore point, hold it on, and then go again. Okay, just moving slightly further down the leg, just onto the calf, exactly the same principle, just up onto your hands, trying to get the whole length from the back of your knee down to your foot. Just do a minute like that. You can start to turn your leg out, so turn your foot outwards. And again, find that particularly sore point. Let it relax off, and then go again. The more that you use it, so like Teddy, he's got one leg on top of the other. Again, applying slightly more pressure to that calf. You should be able to feel it slightly more. Start using the tiger tails as well. It works more for the more pressure that you apply. Okay, so it's up to you how much you, you can apply to start off with. Only the day after a game, yep. uh, I imagine a lot of players will probably just sit on the sofa and, and won't do too much. Why is this so important? It's, just, it's a form of active recovery. So sleep is, is the best form of recovery that you can get. And this is a great extra that you can do in order to promote that recovery and stimulate it a little bit further. So like I said, doing a bit on the bike to, to get the legs going, flush the system out, using the foam rollers as that self massage, and then doing a bit of stretching as well to making sure that we can then prepare ourselves right for the next game. Next one, getting the foam roller just onto the quad, so the, the front part of the leg. And again, we're gonna roll up from the hip to the knee. Find that particularly sore point, and it twitch, and then ease off, and then up and down again. Again, a minute or 30 repetitions each leg. Last one. Looks a little bit strange, but it is a brilliant exercise. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna use the hockey ball, can be a tennis ball, can be a golf ball, can be just a normal cricket ball, okay? What you wanna do is from there, in the arch of the foot and running the whole length of the foot, just roll up and down, okay? And as much as you can handle it, applying more pressure, slightly more pressure, just up and down, and it's an ache, but it feels quite nice once you finish. Again, you look to do this for a minute, and then let's change sides. Again, just apply more pressure. The more you sprint, what you might find is at the bottom of your feet start to hurt, start to ache if you're not used to it. This is another great technique that we can use into the arch of that foot. Ollie, we've just done a nice recovery session there. Uh, my muscles are feeling nice and loose. Good. And I guess the beauty of this, Ollie, is that you could do this at home. You could yep. do this in your bedroom or in yep. your living room. 100%. All you need is just a foam roller, just something nice and simple that's just going to apply a bit of pressure. They're, they're easy to find, they're, they're very fairly inexpensive, 
Uh, Teddy, you're obviously a young lad still, um, and you, I'm not sure how much you do in terms of recovery, but is this something that you really try and look at? Yeah, um, for me personally, it helps me a lot. After a game or after training the next day, you know, it's so important because obviously you'll be training that next week. You need to be loose, you need to be feeling good. So yeah, for me personally, I use it a lot and um, get on the bike beforehand as well and get the legs going really. And is this mandatory for all the players at Reading or can they sort of pick and choose the, the different types of recovery that they will do? They, 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 we, we, try to get, we try to educate players on the different types of recovery that you can do. But again, we would try and push this sort of stuff as much as we can. Um, and then hopefully when they go further on in their careers, they continue to take it with them. Um, which is just trying to give them as much education with regards to recovery. Um, in order to prep for the next training session or the next game. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, guys. And we will catch you both next time. Thank you very much. Cheers. See you later. Now, Ted, uh, day after a match, our muscles are going to be pretty sore. Um, we've just done a nice little foam roll recovery session there. Now, I've got a few products here. Um, just tell us, obviously, this one is for, it's for recovery. What's, what's this made up of? And you know, how much should we, we take in a day after Yeah, that? so um, so Rego is a, is a great kind of recovery product. Um, and again, thinking about those four pillars of recovery, we've got our carbohydrates in there, we've got some protein, we've got electrolytes. We've also got vitamins in there, like vitamin C and vitamin D as well. So. Um, you know, by all means, uh, have this on top of a varied diet, but it can, it can help um, as a convenient way to take on what you need around a recovery session like you've just done. There we go, guys. That's the session done with. Mark Maspero, I hope that's going to help you recover after your next match. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. And if you've got any questions about today's session or you've got any ideas about sessions that you'd like us to do in the future, please do leave your comments in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you want to buy any products that we've spoken about today, visit www.scienceinsport.com. We'll catch you next time.